What's up guys, my name is Carol and welcome to Ads Courses, a channel where we can learn the best digital marketing secrets and web analytics tricks. Today I will show you how to quickly implement Google Ads website phone call conversion tracking. With this feature, you will be able to track conversions when someone clicked from Google Ads and call you from your website. If you want to watch more tutorials like that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so normally when you have a call extension in your ads, this is how they look. And if someone clicks on the call extension, he will make a phone call to your business. But what if someone clicks on the actual ad? He will be redirected to your website. And this method will allow you to actually track phone calls when someone goes to your website and calls you from a phone call on your website. So with website phone conversion tracking, you will be able to track which keywords, ad groups, ads or campaigns generate phone calls from your website as conversions. And this method will actually replace a phone number on your website with Google redirect number. And I'm going to show you how to implement this functionality right now. And Google Ads website phone conversion tracking requires a call extension in your Google Ads account, a Google conversion linker tag in GTM, and a Google Ads call from website conversion tag also in your GTM. So let's start with a call extension. Okay, so I'm in my Google Ads account, which is a demo account. And what I need to do is go to the ads and extensions right here and in extensions. And here you can create an extension. Let's choose the call extension. And this will be an account level. And let's select the country. This will be a Poland. And here just place your number. And make sure to select the call reporting on and save. Okay, so we have our call extension in here. And right now let's create a website phone call conversion. So let's go to the tools and settings and conversion under the measurement section. Okay, so I've got nothing here on this account. So let's create a conversion. And here just choose the phone calls. And what you want to choose in here is the second one, calls to a phone number on your website. So let's select this and hit continue. And you can set up several settings in this section. You can change the category from lead to the other, but it actually doesn't matter at all. And give your conversion a name. So it will be a website phone calls. Now you can select if you want to a value to your conversion. I don't want to. And here you can select, do you want to count this as a conversion only once or every time from the same person. And if your phone calls from your website usually leads to a purchase, you would want to select this every. But if you usually generate leads or sync ups from your website phone calls, then select to count only one. Now what you can set up in here is how long it needs to take for a phone call to be considered as conversion. So in default, it's 60 seconds, but you can also change this. And here you can change the conversion window. You can select, do you want to track these conversions in conversion column? And if you actually use smart bidding strategies in your campaigns and you want this conversion, a website for phone call conversion to be considered as a valuable conversion to be optimized for, you select yes. And here you can change the attribution model. And you can actually go back and change all of these settings later if you want to. So let's click create and continue. Okay, in this tutorial, I will show you how to implement this using the Google Tag Manager. So let's select this. Okay, so now let's go to our Google Tag Manager account. And what we want to do right now is to create a Google conversion linker tag. So let's go to the tags section and hit the new tag. Let's give it a name. Okay, now let's hit this box in here and here select the conversion linker. Let's create a trigger for it. It will be all pages and just click save and it's done. And now what we want to do is to create a tag for a website phone call conversion tracking. So also let's hit the new tag in here. Let's give it a name. Okay, now let's select the tag configuration. And here you need to search for Google Ads calls from website conversion. Don't just select the Google Ads conversion tracking. And here you want to select this one. Okay, and here you need to place your phone number exactly how it is on your website, a conversion ID and a conversion label. So let's select the displayed phone number first. To do this, we need to go to our website. Okay, so I'm in my website right now. And here is a section where I display my phone number. So what you want to do is just copy the phone number exactly how it is on your website. So let's copy this and let's go back to our tag configuration. Okay, so let's place this phone number in here. 
And now let's copy our conversion ID and conversion label from Google Ads. Okay, so here you have your conversion ID number and your conversion label. So you just need to copy them. Okay, so I have my conversion ID and conversion label in Tag Manager. And now let's select a trigger for it. And you may actually want to fire this on all pages, which I would actually recommend. But you may also fire it only on uh, pages where you actually display your phone number. I'll go with all pages and now just click save. Okay, so now let's preview our changes in the debug mode. And let's go back to our website. Let's refresh the website. And here's the debug section and we can see that our conversion linker was fired and our google ads website phone conversion tag was also fired so it's all okay but to actually make sure that your website phone conversion tracking is working correctly you would need to click on your actual ad and see the conversion in google ads interface there's also another method so let's do it right now the second solution to try if your website phone conversion tracking is working is to write this after your website url so it's hash google minus wv cc minus debug and refresh your website and after you do this you will see this window in here just click the force and as you can see the number was replaced so it means that it works but to be actually 100% sure you would need to click on your ad and see if the number actually changed on your website and that's it this is how you implement website phone conversion tracking using google tag manager Okay, so now you're ready to implement phone call conversion tracking on your website. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment under this video. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're hungry for more digital marketing knowledge and see you in my other videos.